All right, we're back at 740. Time for more of our special Rawson Report series, Secret Shopper. This morning, we're putting car dealers to the test. Is it really true that women sometimes get charged more than men? Today, National Investigative Correspondent Jeff Rawson and his team went undercover to find out. Hey, Jeff, good morning. Hey, Savannah, good morning. That is what we've heard all these years, right? Women get charged more than men at car dealerships. There's even a Yale study showing it happens even when they go for the same exact car. So we worked with that Yale professor to set up our own experiment. I sent two of my producers, Charlie and Lindsay, undercover at car dealerships. Who will get the better deal? Buckle up. This morning, our hidden cameras are rolling. Car shopping can be a rough ride. Can I get like two, three hundred bucks just to hold the car? So this morning, we're doing the dirty work for you. Wiring up my producers, Lindsay and Charlie, with hidden cameras. I think we're good to go. Sending them undercover inside 10 Ford and Chevy dealerships. Can you give me a full out the door price? At um, each the spot, they ask for the best the out the door price. I'm just looking for an out the door price. On the same two cars at the Chevy dealerships. I'm looking for like a 2015 Chevy Cruze. Interested in the Chevy Cruze, the 2015 model. And at the Ford dealerships. Yeah, I'm interested in the Ford Fusion. I'm uh, interested in the Ford Fusion. Charlie and Lindsay visited each dealership on the same day talking to whichever salesperson approached them first and they made it clear they want the standard base model this Yale study repeatedly showing females are offered on average prices $200 higher than white males okay she's walking in I'm watching everything from this car parked out front things start off great at this Chevy dealership Good, how are you Charlie and Lindsay quoted the exact same price That's thousand. 465. 20,465. Right down to the penny. Okay, so 20,465. But things are about to change. Time to make another trip inside. Sure, come on, show you the car. At this next Chevy dealer, Charlie gets this price. Looking at 21,000 out the door. 21,000 out the door today. Yeah, today. But when Lindsay asks about the same car on the very same day. The total out the door price would be this. 21,335.35. So bottom line, it's 21,335. Okay. That's hundreds of dollars more. $335 more to be precise. The dealership manager telling NBC News his salespeople don't recall Charlie and Lindsay. And prices can fluctuate for various reasons. On to the next one. But the biggest surprises are yet to come. Lindsay's price on a Ford Fusion at this dealership? 24,404. Yes, Got it. But listen to Charlie's quote. So it'd be 25, 14250. 25, 14250. Correct. That's right. Things just flipped. Charlie quoted almost $750 more. The manager later saying this much of a price difference is unusual and they strive not to oversell, but prices can change all the time. But fasten your seatbelts and watch what happens at this last Ford dealership. Lindsay's price? 21203. 21203. And Charlie's price? Well, I'm looking at 23500 out the door for the 2015. Right. Sorry, Charlie. He just got hit again, almost $2,300 more for the exact same car. Lindsay gets the better deal by far. We shared our results with the car coach, consumer car expert Lauren Fix. It's great news for women. Progress. Progress. I'd like to say it is progress. In the end, of the 10 dealers they visited, four dealerships gave the same price, three dealerships gave Lindsay a higher price, and three dealerships gave Charlie a higher price. But when you add it all up, Charlie's prices were $3,100 higher than Lindsay's. Are you surprised by our results? I'm a bit surprised about the results, but it's nice to know that new car dealers are paying attention. Women make 85% of the buying decision, and they're paying big attention to that. Now you guys were saying progress for women, not necessarily yeah, for men. Okay, yeah. how do you get the best deal on the car? That's what you're all asking. Experts say whether you're a man or a woman, here is the takeaway for you. Do your homework before walking in. Salespeople can smell a smart shopper, especially if you haven't used deodorant. And, and they, you may get a better deal <laughs> if, they, if they know that you know it.
you're talking about. Always compare dealerships for the same car. Just look at all the different prices we got when we went for the same car and give them your best price, not the other way around. In fact, there's a great website we found called truecar.com. You can literally build your car. It'll spit out a price of what people in your area, in your area code, are paying so you can walk in with that price and say, this is what I want to pay or something under it. I like that. Yeah. Oh, haggling cool cool yeah. 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 You're good at haggling. No, I'm terrible. No, you're bad at it. I'm like, higher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she gets the Savannah discount. <laughs>